So uh, where do you where, where where are you guys in the season right now? Uh, what what would you rate your first third of the season so far, Bobby Wagner? Uh, I don't know if I'll have a rating, but I definitely feel like, you know, we're not where we want to be. Um, obviously, two and four is not where, you know, we planned on being this season. But, you know, I think there was a lot of um, opportunity for growth and a lot of opportunity to, to get better. And I think that's the, the thing that you kind of focus on is just understanding that, uh, you know, we have the players that can, can really make an impact and really change the season around. But it's up to us as players to – um, you know, execute out there on the field, which I, you know, I'm confident that we could do that. Um, you know, for me and, and Russ, you know, we've been in this situation before, and so it's not something that's foreign to us. Obviously, you want to start in the, you want to put yourself in this hole, but, you know, it's, it's good when you have history on getting out of it. I mean, you know, speaking of a situation, though, that Russ has not been in before, it's with an earbud in his ear, you know, um, coaching, essentially, as he did on Sunday Night Football. What's that like for you? to uh, be on the sideline and Russ is on the sideline with you because the offense is out there without him. What's that like? Yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely different. You know, um, it's, it's amazing that he's gone this long without having to miss any games. You know, I think that, that talks about how uh, how well he handles his body off the field. Even the, the injury that he had, it was like a freak accident. It just, you know, hit his hand on somebody's helmet. And so, uh, you know, it's definitely a, a different feeling, but, you know, you see Russ engaged. You see him still active mentally and taking mental reps, and, um, you know, he's still working out crazy. And so, you know, whenever that hand is ready to go, I, I definitely feel like he's going to be – he's going to pick up right where he left off. Do you think he'll be back sooner rather than later? I mean, what are you seeing so far behind the scenes that you can um, let us you know? On? You never put it, anything past Russ. You know, if, if they say uh, four weeks, it could be two. If they say eight, it could be four. So, you know, Russ is constantly, um, you know, defining the odds in, in many ways. So I definitely feel like, uh, you know, whenever he does it, it's going to beat whatever clock that he had. What needs to change starting Monday night for the Seattle Seahawks, Bobby Wagner? Give me something. What do you got for me? I think we need to we need to execute all four quarters. I think that's the biggest thing. I think we show flashes in each of the games where, you know, we show our potential, we show what we're capable of doing, but we just haven't put it together, you know, all four quarters. And so, you know, I think if we do that and, and do the stuff that we're capable of doing, but over the, the duration of the entire game, uh, we'll be fine. That's why I'm confident that, uh, you know, we'll get this thing turned around because we've showed what we're capable of doing when everybody is on at the same time. And so um, it's just about being focused, um, communicating, and executing at a high level for the whole game. Do you give messages to Gino throughout the week at all? I mean, what a tough spot that he's in with Russ out. What do you – Yeah, do? it's definitely a tough spot. You know, you, you, uh, you, know you, have conf- uh, you have conversations with him, but at the end of the day, I, I definitely feel like G- Gino's, you know, handled himself very, very well. He's very confident. And, you know, I've said this before, like if – you know, if you came in and watched him prepare, you wouldn't think that he wasn't the starting quarterback. He mm-hmm. prepares like he's a starting quarterback. So that's why, you know, when he came in after Russ got hurt, uh, he was ready for his opportunity, ready for his moment. So, you know, I think it's just going to take a little bit of time, but I'm, I'm definitely confident that Geno, you know, is going to, uh, you know, ball out this game. And then what is the challenge with the Saints coming off their bye week for you, Bobby? Who, who, I assume you're circling 41 um, in the in the meeting rooms. I mean, w- w- what do you what do you have for me on that front? Yeah, you? you're definitely paying attention to 41. I think that that is the beginning of the offense. You know, I think they want to get the ball in his hand, whether it's uh, running the ball, uh, passing the ball. You know, he's a very very special player. So, you know, we definitely have to have the eyes for him. Um, you know, Jameis is going to do his thing. You, you see his growth. Um, you know, from he when he got into the league to that kind of brief period where he wasn't in the league or he was a backup quarterback. You see him making um, better decisions with the ball. and So uh, we just have to be on our job and capitalize on mistakes when they happen. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.